Hello lovely bloodsuckers, and we start off with Ken in his little throne room where he looks like he's upset thinking. Now he is thinking, I wanna say he's upset though because the Dark Swords at this moment still has control of him. And what he's thinking about is how everyone, he hates everyone, yada yada, all that. And apparently he hated his parents too. I'm not really sure if he, I would say hate because he was never actually mean to them. Although he was never really actually mean to anyone to their face except for the kids. But I wouldn't say he hated his parents. I think it was more that Dark Spores wanted him to hate his parents, but he was trying to fight that. So in truth, the Dark Spores made him want to just basically have nothing to do with them. Now, and this, of course, causes him wanting to stay in the digital world. Now, we then get cut to uh, Davis and them talking about Ken and how he's bad and stuff. And when they go to open the digital port, I never got this. I think they only did it in season one and two. I don't remember if they do it in three and above. But I know for a fact they do it in season one and two because they did it a lot in season one when I was reviewing season one. And they're still doing it in here in season two. For example, before they uh, cut to commercial break, Billy says, Let's go get that handsome even more or cute you I forgot, but I, it was either handsome or cute. Then when they cut back to Yoli after the commercial break, it says, she says, let's kick some Emperor butt. So, I don't, I don't get why they changed the lines after a commercial break and then trying to make it seem like that's not what they said. We know what the character said, just leave it. And so, once they get to the area where they wanted to attack first, uh, a bunch of Miramon show up and they're fighting the Miramon while they're fighting the Miramon. Ken goes and gets Agumon, well, captures Agumon basically. Well, technically, he's Greymon right now, but you know what I mean, he captures him. And then those mirror one were just meant to hold them back while he's doing it. So he goes to get him and captures him. And now he's carrying him while under control with Ergamont. Now, I always forget before he turns Greymon into the true Metal Greymon, which is Metal Greymon Virus. Yes, Metal Greymon Virus is the true Metal Greymon. But I guess for Ty's Agumon, yes, I said Ty's Agumon because, let's be honest, that's who he is. He's Ty Agumon. And Ty Agumon already has so many evolution lines. Well, not many evolution. Well, yeah, I guess you can if you count the 2020 Agumon. But that's more specifically for 2020 Ty. But, anyways, I guess because they didn't really want people to keep associating this Metal Greymon with Ty's Agumon, they said that they'll tie, Bandai said basically, let's tie it to Black Agumon. But in truth, Metal Greymon Virus is Agumon OG slash Ty Agumon Metal Greymon's true form. So, but I always forget before he did get him to become Metal Greymon Virus, he digivolved him into Skull Greymon, although this was not meant to be the evolution line he wanted. In truth, he won in Metal Greymon Virus. And he was even shocked when this happened. Now, 
because Skull Grandma and the enemy basically can't be controlled. He breaks from the air drummonds. And uh Ken sends Dark Tyranomon after him and Kari says Oh no, now we gotta fight more. Kari, y'all didn't even fight Skull Greymon one well y'all did, but Y'all didn't even fight the Dark Tyranomon, so no, no you don't. Anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching this. Love you all. Mwah.